I'm Dr. Scott Morin. I'm one of the founding partners here at Reproductive Medicine Associates of Northern California. I grew up in Visalia, which is a small town in the Central Valley, about three hours south of San Francisco. In a lot of ways, it feels a little bit like the Midwest. I mean, lots of farming, lots of dairies. You can't really claim Northern or Southern California. It's kind of right on the borderline of where half of the town is Giants fans, half of the town is Dodgers fans. Um, I think my favorite thing about growing up in Visalia was the Mexican food. And I spent seven years on the East Coast and despite being in the middle of New York City for my residency, I never found Mexican food as, as good as there is in Visalia. I've had a lot of influences in my life um, in medicine, probably no bigger than my father, who was an OBGYN. He really did such an outstanding job in our community of taking care of patients. You never could, could leave your house and go to a restaurant without running into a patient of his. And they're always so appreciative of the work that he did. They always want to, wanted to introduce their children to the man that helped bring them into the world. Strangely enough, as an OBGYN, um, he actually delivered my wife when she was born. So he was the doctor of my um, now mother-in-law. So he, he met her long before I did. We didn't meet until 20 uh, years later. I attended uh, the University of Notre Dame. Um, I'm actually the third in, in a line of Notre Dame grads, my grandfather, my father, and I'm actually the third brother in my family to, to attend Notre Dame, so go Irish. I went to the medical school at UC Irvine down in Southern California, and then went to New York for a residency at NYU. And while I was at NYU, uh, considering where to train for fellowship, I had done a lot of research in pre-implantation genetic screening, and I kept coming across papers from a place called Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. It was sort of undeniable that that was the best place in the country to train. So I, I was fortunate to be, to be chosen for the fellowship program at RMA New Jersey. So uh, my dream really was to learn as much as I could and then bring outstanding care back to, to the West Coast. There's no question that in becoming a parent, my perspective has changed on how important our work is. And I, I think there's nothing more admirable than people um, seeking to build their own families. The diversity and the, the uh, richness in all the different types of families is absolutely, absolutely inspiring to me. Families are the most beautiful thing that there is in life. They come in all shapes and sizes. I, I'm really inspired by the work that we do to help create families for, for our patients. It never really felt like a job learning about infertility and reproductive medicine. It was always something that sort of fascinated me and I found myself reading about it outside of work. As, as I started to learn about our field, it really became undeniable that the best work was being done at one place and that was Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. There's no other uh, institution, whether in a university or in a private setting that devotes as much funding um, and resources to the research program. They really felt compelled to push our field forward, to give back to the community and to really help find answers for patients that to this point we haven't had answers for. So I, I wanted to learn from those that were at the absolute cutting edge of our field. And uh, to me, it was undeniable that was RMA. I think in general, our patients are all inspiring. They all bring such unique stories to the clinic. If I had to pick one patient, which is very difficult to do, that really left a, a lasting imprint on me, it'd be a patient who sort of went through multiple facets of the IVF uh, or fertility process. She froze eggs at, at around age 38, subsequently found a partner, ha, was unable to, to become pregnant naturally over a couple of years, went through one IVF cycle without success, but then subsequently went back to her frozen eggs and uh, was able to, to conceive a pregnancy and now has a beautiful baby girl. And I think seeing a patient who goes through the entire process like that um, kind of illustrates how our technologies are, are allowing possibilities for families that were never possible 15, 20 years ago. I think it also highlights the strength of our patients to be persistent in such a difficult process, um, it, which is inspiring to me on a daily basis and, and really makes this job so rewarding every single day. Our patients have been through so much before they even walk in the door. This is an inevitably difficult, stressful process, and our job is to make it as easy and comfortable as possible. We have a, an incredibly powerful scientific team behind us, but that doesn't mean anything if we can't touch our patients on a personal level on a daily basis. So we've spent a lot of time thinking about how we can make this process as easy and comfortable for our patients as possible.